Hello everyone and welcome. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can roll back your Windows update to previous version. Let's say for instance, you had updated your Windows from Windows 10 to Windows 11 and perhaps you want to roll back to Windows 10. This is how to do it. Now go to the start button, click on the settings. Now go to update and security. Okay, by the left hand side, click on the recovery. Okay, so look at where you will see go back to the previous version of Windows 10. So currently I'm using Windows 10. I had just updated it to the latest version of Windows 10. So if I want to go back to my previous version, I just click on get started. Okay, but I'm not going to do that. However, if you come to this point after you had updated your Windows and you come here, you don't see this, then it means that you have gone past the 10 days grace period. So within 10 days of your update and you should be able to you know go back or roll back your to the previous version but if for instance you've extended the 10 days grace period that you can roll back to previous version of windows 10 then just head over to the windows download center like i did point out in my last video that there are two options to update your windows now i did make use of the first option now this is the advantage of using the download now option okay by using the download now option you will have created a media file where you can fall back to if for instance you had extended your 10 days period and the version of um the updated version you had you do not like it and you want to roll back so by downloading using this option you download and you create a media file installation file for windows 10 you can fall back to it use it and roll back to the version that you like now if you come back to windows um, download center windows 10 download center what you would normally find is the latest version. So Microsoft always update this page with their latest version. So if perhaps you come over here and you do not get the previous version of your system, what you would have is always the latest version. Then you would have lost out on the, the, the version that you really do like. So I hope you do understand this particular point and why people would normally go for the download now option so they have a backup just in case they want to reinstall what they had initially okay so that brings us to the end of this video i hope um, you liked the video do not hesitate to give it a like share and i will see you in my next video